Hey guys, so I'm back here sooner than I thought I would have been. I was in the grocery the other day and I came across this product which I couldn't let it pass up. So I've always heard about um, like jackfruit, um, as it can be used as a meat substitute. I've heard about it being used for things like pulled pork sandwiches, burritos, etc. And it was a trend that I heard about in the States, something that I realized has taken off quite a bit, but I've just never had the opportunity in Jamaica. So we eat a lot of jackfruit um, out here, but the jackfruit available locally is mainly um, like fresh jackfruit. And no farmer is going to bring any jackfruit for sale that's green, right? So they harvest it once it's ripe and it's always the ripe yellow jackfruit. When I say yellow, I'm talking to the, I'm referring to the fruit here and not so much the actual outer fruit, which we know is green. But yeah, I always see jackfruit and just never had the opportunity to get the green one so I could actually try making one of these recipes. And then lo and behold, I went to the supermarket and came across this. So this is what it looks like. This is what the jackfruit looks like drained. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. So funny enough, a friend that like these little pieces across here kind of look like breadfruit. Um, like the whole young fruit actually kind of looks like breadfruit to me, but you can see the jackfruit portion. Like this is the part here that would have developed into that nice sweet yellow fruit that we love. So what I'm going to do now is just pull this apart and then I will show you what it looks like on the stove and then I'll wrap it and make a burrito. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I'm not sure if we're supposed to eat these pieces or not. Um, don't ask. I tasted it and it tastes kind of edible but the texture, I don't know, they're just kind of big and, you know, chunky. So, and they don't strip like these pieces can't be shredded up the way this piece, these pieces can. So I just decided to I just go and discard that. Don't mind me, I'm just here caramelizing my onions. Mm. Alright, so this is how it looks on the stove. Um it's basically done. Um basically all I did was just after caramelize the onions, I added the tomato, the jackfruit, um, I added a bit of well, ketchup as well I added about two tablespoons of barbecue sauce I added a little bit of browning as well for some color um, and um, I added the pepper sauce as well and that's it I didn't add any salt because it comes in brine but it's not actually too salty all right so this here is a filling so I put some black beans I put the barbecue jackfruit I put some basmati rice and some kale for greens because as I said I don't have anything else that's the only green currently in my house just a bit of kale and I sprinkled some parsley on top and then I'm going to roll up everything and here we are burrito so I'm just gonna cut this open so you can see what it looks like all right so this is a cross section of my burrito and I'm gonna do a taste test now and let you know what it's like Sorry guys, I already took a bite. <laughs> I'd want you to capture. Sorry, I'd want you to capture what the first bite looked like, but mm. Mm. this could have fooled me still. This could have fooled me. Like it's after the taste, very meaty. Like I'm surprised. Like I always thought people were bluffing when they said that that fruit is a good meat substitute. But this could have fooled enough people. Like I'm actually impressed. I won't lie. Like it, it's good. It's good. <laughs> anyway, I go eat the rest of my food in peace. I only rolled one burrito because I was so excited to do the taste test that I think I'm going to use the rest of the filling and roll up the rest of my burritos. I like having food ready in the fridge so that way when I come home from work, I can just microwave and go. So I'm going to roll up the rest of them, put them away so I can have meals the last week. And yeah, so if I see this product again in the supermarket, I can't even remember the price now. I'm gonna look for my receipts. 
and try and include the price in the description below but it was like about $300 for the can and it looks like it can probably make about six burritos based on the quantity so I'm very impressed like vegans actually really have a lot of options like I no longer feel as if they're missing out because if I had access to this regular I would have eat it so this isn't a promo video or anything um, I'm not promoting Grace but it just so happened that their brand is the very first brand of can jackfruit I've seen in the supermarket and um, try it and I like it <laughs> so um, I would encourage other people to go out and get it and I'm gonna finish eating my food in peace <laughs> bye guys